Hey guys, it's Inky Pinky. Welcome to my channel. Meet Tiger. Beautiful Tabby. He's my favorite cat in the world. I think he's so adorable because he is so big. And I really like when he comes to my room at night uh, for cuddles. Um, not gonna go into too many details in like my roommates and stuff because I want to respect their privacy. Uh, but I have roommates and uh, who are also my f closest friends. Um, this is their cat Tiger, and I love him like he were my own cat. Um, anyways, um, anyways, but this this video wasn't about Tiger, um, or my friend's pets. I um decided to make like a rant style video. Basically, today is my first day of online education due to the Backstreet Boys World Tour. You can fill in the blanks as to what euphemism that's code for because YouTube will not allow me to say what's going on right now. So we'll just call it the Backstreet Boys World Tour or the Bud Light situation, however you want to call it. Shoutouts to FPS Diesel and Nakakado Avocado for their nicknames of what's going on. Anyways, so I had the most 2020 experience today with my first day back at school, it being online. So tell me how I bought this laptop a year and a half ago when my program started. Alright? Um, for privacy reasons, I'm not going to say what college I attend, what city I live in. Because I know how good the internet detectives are. Basically, I study medical, um, office administration, health sciences, which is code for medical receptionist, okay? I'm in semester three. I'm finishing semester three, the hardest semester of my two-year program, okay? Oh, meet Isabella. Um, Isabella is very cute. She's... Older than Tiger, about by five years. She's also a tabby, but she's really tiny. If you didn't know any better, you'd say Tiger is the older brother to Isabella. But nope, they're not related. Isabella's five years older, and they're not from the same family. Uh, she's kind of like a lap dog. She'll, if she loves you, she'll never leave you, and she'll never not want to be by your side. Uh, anyway, so back to my online school situation. So today is day one of semester three. Um, I, when the pen, when the, whoops, almost did a YouTube blurb word. When the Backstreet Boys World Tour was in effect stage one last semester, I decided not for me because I was only doing one class at the time and I kind of just was like, forget it. So, I this is my first day acclimatizing to online learning. I didn't know if it was going to be a Zoom meeting through my technology we're using with my college, Blackboard. So, I'm basically orienting myself as class is starting. Actually, I lost track of time. I was a dumb butt and didn't orient myself with my schedule. I didn't set up a... I woke up early today, excited for school to start, because I love school, I love college, but I was basically an hour late to class, which is my fault, okay? So I'm all, luckily I, I logged on during break, and I said my apologies to my professor out of respect and courtesy. She was nice and gracious about it, I thought she'd be a little more hurt or offended, because some professors do take it personally if you're late, um, especially on the first day. And I never want to be disrespectful. And I'm paying for this, right? It's out of my pocket. I don't want to be in debt. So it's out of my savings, out of my pocket. Okay? I'm letting Tiger out of the basement. Out you go. Okay. So already it's hectic. Already I apologize for, for being late. All right? 
tell me how Windows 10, it's not even the hardware problem, like, it's not my laptop's fault. I've only had this laptop for a year and a half. There's no viruses. It's, it, it was freshly updated last night. Literally, Windows 10, I updated last night so I can avoid it shutting off without my permission during class. Guess what it does? My laptop shuts off during class, no warning, no nothing. Restarts on its own, like its computer is supposed to, and decides to update for half an hour. Then Windows 10 has the audacity, after restarting, to take 10 minutes to load my, my freaking desktop. And then it, yes, okay, my Wi-Fi might be a little slow. Okay, it's 5G, but it's still a little slow because Windows 10 takes so much freaking memory to fucking load. Okay. Alright. So first gripe is when I first bought my laptop, I set the update settings to I'm the boss. I'm the brain. I give you permission when you can update Mr. Windows 10. Okay? So you, it's your job, Windows 10, to let me know when you're gonna update an hour, at least an hour, to when you update. Okay? All right. Delio. Okay. So it used to work where it'd be like, by the way, we're gonna update in four hours or tomorrow, you click, you decide. And if you don't click anything, too bad, so sad in four hours, we're updating on your butt. Okay. Tell me how it's been like that for, for goodness gracious how long, okay? Then the day before class, I freshly update. My bad for not making sure it's still on that setting, okay? But it's not up to Windows 10. To tell me it's not like that anymore and it could just shut off at random when it feels like updating especially during class education that came out of my pocket okay so yes today has been very 2020 very Baxter Boys World Tour slash Bud Light okay but I'm really mad because the genius who invented Windows 10, yes, you, Bill, Microsoft Gates. Windows 10 sucks butt, okay? Windows 98 was the bomb. Best Microsoft operating system, fight me. Fight me. Okay, bring back Windows 98 because it was very user-friendly. Okay. And when you hit that control alt delete in windows 98 xp or even microsoft uh what was it called millennium edition hell even um before windows 10 what was it windows 7 anyways heck okay at least i can understand how to stop a program from running in the prior programs but tell me how when you hit control alt delete in Windows 10, there's freaking five freaking tabs. And I can't even understand what 